Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Justin and I are back out on the Rocky Mountain Range and we are super excited about today's video. So as you know, we are your research and destruction channel and we have some more of our incredibly worthless body armor that we have been making over and over. We call it tombstone body armor because, well, if you wear it, so far it's been pretty consistent. You will have a tombstone over your head. But this is what we got for you guys today. Primers, 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 primers. We got thousands of primers and we thought, you know, why don't we make some body armor out of it? Because in this video here, we made a video out of live rounds and we shot those with different types of sparkle farts rounds as, as small channels have to use um, different wording so we don't get demonetized here. But anyways, we have these sparkle fart rounds and it did pretty good on and the video got geez like over 100,000 views thank you but this is what we got so we got all these primers pistol primers and rifle primers and we came up with the idea the dumb idea some of you would say to epoxy thousands of these little dudes into this armor here and see what happens will they go off will they stop a bullet well today we're going to find out in this armor, we also finally upgraded it. There's about a quarter inch thick of polyethylene behind these. So here's the ammo we're gonna be using today. We're gonna do two rounds out of each firearm. So what we got is nine mil. We're gonna do a nine mil ball, blue tip. We got two, two, three. We got regular round, just a ball tip. And then we got the pink tip. This is like mine and Justin's favorite two, two, three round. This makes a wonderful fireball. 308, this one makes a great sparkle as well. We're gonna do a ball and a blue tip. And then we got 254R rounds. This one has said to be um, a armor piercing incendiary one, but it's not. It, uh, it does have a small little uh, pin in it and it can penetrate, but it's not actually like, like your 50 BMG APIs. But we got this one and we got my all time favorite. We got the spotter round. Now, in one of our videos, uh, we shot it out of our PSL and it tumbled. We're gonna see if maybe that was just a load problem. We never actually retested it. But you know, a bullet coming at you about 2,800 feet per second sideways has a tendency to hurt as well. So these are the rounds we got for you and the body armor, let's get going. All right, so first round's up, it's gonna be nine millimeter. It's gonna be the Smurf tip and then a ball. I think the shrapnel potential is really high on this one. You good, Chris? You all right? Probably, but... <laughs> Probably. I'm good because I was behind cover. <laughs> okay, I think we got some really good body armor. You wear this on the outside, so it shows just like this. And as you can see, it shot back at the shooter. I love it. So, Justin, double tap right down here. We didn't see any flame off of the, um, the little blue tip. There's a piece of jacket in the nine mil. Hit down here. Stop those two, on to the next. Here comes the two, two, three. All right, so that last one was a little painful. We moved a little bit further back and I have a gun case as a blast shield. So it's gonna be a full metal jacket followed by pink tip. Okay. Uh, everyone's really taking cover now. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, that was a good flash. That was kind of cool. That was impressive. 
I'll tell you, it's just never, <laughs> it's never a dull moment working with you, Justin. <laughs> okay, so he hit two double tap right in the center. That was a beautiful fireball from those incendiary rounds. It's sad that that, that guy did unfortunately uh, pass away and uh, can't get those anymore that I know. But here's where Justin hit, right here. The first one was here, barely did anything. So uh, these primers make a really good uh, armor because they just kind of, they absorb it, fall apart. And then of course we got the polyethylene on the back. Let's see if it went farther than it looks. Hey, I think we're onto something here. There's the two hits, did make a little bit of a bulge, but that uh, polyethylene definitely helps out a lot. Okay. How thick is that metal? The metal is probably, God, I don't even know. It's just really thin. It's only about, yeah, it's just sheet metal. You can see how, there you go. It's uh, thinner than, it, no, it's about that thick right there. However mil, many mils thick that is, I don't know. Okay, tombstone body armor. It's working out good. That's it. We just need thousands more primers to um, use as body armor instead of use for bullets, right? So th that's how you defeat them. You take all the primers off the world, use it on body armor, nobody ever shoot you. Anyways, shut up, Chris. On to the 54R, let's do it. All right, now it's time for the 762 54R out of our PSL. It's gonna be a spotter, then API. Chris, you ready? That's a smoky hole. It looks like I hit right on top of the 5.56 like I said I wouldn't do. Come on! <laughs> you got one job, dude. What's up with that? Hey, it's your rifle. We'll just blame that. Well, he was supposed to hit here and here, but the first shot is just drawn to this black hole. But it didn't go through. That's where the spotter round went. Uh, check this out. That's funny. Just made a little pile of uh, trash there for us. So the second round, the API actually went through right or hit here and it went off. You see the flash on the side. So I have a feeling that, oh yeah, that one went through and just burned here big time. That was no problem. This is where, but hey, three shots in the center and it still is stopping it here but that i guess well it is we have just confirmed it is an api why because this is body armor people and it went through it dang it well we got the 308 left we got ball and then a cool sparkle fart round with that one we really like that hopefully justin can hit up here we had the uh, 54r dialed in for a little farther oh well life goes on let's get going i just love this nature it's just beautiful we want everyone to know how neat nature is instead of just chris and i knowing it <laughs> chris and i want everyone to know how neat nature is all right so now we're moving on to the 308 we're going to be firing it out of this bear creek arsenal ar-10 that they provided us so thanks to them for that so it's going to be a frangible round, which is not made to penetrate any armor, but we wanted to try it, followed by a blue tip. Let me put on my, my peep covers. Didn't zero this rifle today, but I guess we'll find out. You ready, Chris? 
Ow! Ow! Right in the forehead. Right in the forehead. Oh! Dang it! This shit hurts. <laughs> oh, your face. Now I know how you feel. <laughs> oh, if anything, there's just great comedy in this video. So, the first nine mil, our friend Zach was quite far away and he has a red dot on his forehead now. And Justin, who was hiding behind even the uh, the gun case, the very first shot, so the very first shot he hit here, which was the frangible round, and it actually did quite a lot of damage. I'll show you that in a minute. But this this is good body armor. Okay, it doesn't stop an API, but, but man, it fires back at the shooter, and I love it, because now Justin has a matching red dot on his forehead. You guys are such cute little Twinkies. Anyways, enough talking. So. First shot frangible here, right there. And then this is the dam. Well, in the second shot, he actually, <laughs> the body armor, since it fired back and bit him, it made him move his target and he hit the same spot. So here was the frangible round, did a lot of damage. Uh, good size bulge on the back, but you can see this hole, if you go back in the video, is now twice as big. And now you can see exactly how thick that, uh, it's two layers of this metal back here. So there it is right there. All right. You know, we do take safety seriously on this. I mean, but sometimes things happen. So just remember always eye protection, ear protection. We always have that. Um, but you know, accidents happen. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This was absolutely a lot of fun shooting these primers. Uh, looks like this thing could take a lot more, so we, we might have to revisit this later with some different rounds. Let us know in the comments what else you'd like us to shoot at this and try it, and we'll do it. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you to our patrons, and we'll be back.